after meeting His Holiness the Dalai Lama, it changed my life forever and I'm very happy he allowed me to create such an event for him in honor of the city of Los Angeles to help educate our leaders of today and our leaders of tomorrow. lucky are we to be able to listen to one of the wisest teachers on planet Earth. His message of compassion and peace has never been more important, never been more needed in our world. Global responsibility, you see, based on sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. That, I think, is very, very important. The future is open. There is a real possibility to change. So this generation who belongs to the first century, it is your responsibility. Not my generation's responsibility. Our responsibility to create more problems. <laughs> now time comes. It is your task to solve these problems. Thank you. is what makes the world turn. Maybe we can shift focus a little bit, even on red carpets with questions like, what are you wearing? Who, what do you think about this person? Instead of gossiping, let's talk about bigger ideas, you know? And how do we do that? I don't know. Bring in the Dalai Lama more often. <laughs> when we listen to him, we actually know deep down that a more empathetic world is possible. And I think that's one reason why we like to hang out with him a bit. He's so full of wisdom and, and there's a piece about him that you hope when you hear him speak you take a little bit with you. I welcome you all and I welcome this beautiful setting, this incredible place with this incredible man. We're here today to learn from you and to become more like you. He's really somebody that the world looks up to. I think sometimes we get busy in our lives and we forget about the important things in life and I think he's a very good ambassador of spreading the love in this world. Uh, this I got in, uh, the, when, when I coming from Washington here. So I want to share. Oh, very nice, very sweet. Oh, oh. that was very compassionate. Well. So this, I want to keep. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this feels like a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm so proud of Sean because he was he was talking to me about this organizing this whole event, and I think it just is beautiful. It's like he's an inspiration to me. I founded the Lourdes Foundation a couple years ago because I found that my passion was to help others and just really really happy and grateful and to the Dalai Lama and to the people that came to have their heart open to learn new things.